Good day, everybody. It's your boy Houston Falcon bringing you some Pokemon Double Battles. Today we are featuring a Ho team. And here's the rental code in case you want to try it out, take it out for a swing. Uh, but we do have Ho here with the uh, four offensive moves, no protect. Uh, very, very offensive with the uh, weakness policy. Uh, carrying Sacred Fire, Earthquake, Iron Head, Brave Bird. Uh, to counter uh, intimidate users on Ho, we do have three different mons um, that if they were to happen to get intimidated, they were really strong. So we got Milotic with competitive, Obstagoon with Defiant, and Zapdos with Defiant as well. So that, that'll definitely curb somebody bringing in an Incineroar or a Landorus or, or even a Gyarados or Arcanine, even though we don't really see those any, uh, very often anymore but that's where they're there uh we got tornadoes and tepu coco to uh help speed control and do a couple of other things um but um this is the team and we're gonna search for a battle so i've been using obstagoon here a lot lately and i uh, wanted to keep giving him a uh a shot to prove himself if you will <laughs> so let's uh get this battle going and then see how we can do uh, today. So again, just with any other team, I do try out uh, teams um, offline first, and then if they perform well, then um, then I bring them on and record a video and stuff. So hopefully today uh, we can get a couple wins and uh, and and perform well, and so that way we can uh, well we can make a good showing, right? So. Alright, let's see who we end up going against and what team. So it looks like that is more of a trick room team by what I can tell. So I'm going to throw out Tapu Coco just in case. And I am going to go with... Um, who would be good to carry here? Let's go Malatic. Yeah, I think we can go with Milotic. Of course, we're going to carry Ho, but who's going to be our fourth one? So, I don't know that Tornado does any help here. Um, he's not bad, but he's not necessarily good in this particular case. Um, could carry Zapdos. Um, kind of want to bring off the game, so let's, let's just kind of do that. They don't really have any fighting moves there. I mean, I'm sure they have a fighting move there somewhere, but I think this is the uh, the route that we should take. So let's uh, let's see how it goes, and let's see how we get matched up. But um, hope everybody's having a good day. Um, been trying to upload a whole lot more here lately, uh, pretty much every day uh, uh, this week. I think all but one day. So that was the plan, and I always try to um, put up extra videos and stuff uh, now that I have some time. But I don't know that I will be able to put out any more um, later this week. So that's why I was trying to take advantage and, and post as much as possible. So if you're interested in um, daily or weekly Pokemon content, you're more than welcome to subscribe. That's, that'd be great. So Tapu Coco coming out, as well as Milotic here. So let's, um, God, I hate that ability, Frisk. I feel so violated when he does that. So I'm going to go with a Taunt here, even though I feel like he's going to go with an ally switch. Um, so I could always try and Taunt this way, that I kind of want to go with a safe play here. So let's do that. And then let's go for an Icy Wind and, and just kind of see how it goes um, from there. I don't think he, um, I don't believe that he ends up, um, Dynamax in this, this turn, but he, he could very well might. It'll be interesting to see. Um, he's been taking a while, like, he took a long time to even get, gather his team, so it looks like he is Dynamaxing right from the get-go, so, um, I don't like he's gonna get hit awful hard here. 
Um, I'm assuming that he's gonna uh, probably um, do the max ground move, I would think. Oh yeah, he's trying to knock somebody out. Um, nonetheless, um, we're, we are going to get off this taunt. Um, so that's going to come handy. Um, cause we should be faster than him. I'll max this fight. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. I'm good with that. Yeah, we knew this. He was going to get hit hard like this. Um, let's see. Icy Wind hopefully hits everybody. And it does. Does hardly anything to any of these two guys, but that's okay. So, Tapu Koko. Probably gonna go with the uh, with the Thunderbolt on this side, and then Muddy Water, just to try and get some damage. I don't know that Mala take out speeds right now. I think she, I think she does. Um, we'll see here in a minute. Honestly, at this point, I'm kind of hoping Coco gets knocked out. Uh, he is gonna get some damage off before he goes. Actually, he might not because. Uh, Dusclops is probably going to Shadow Sneak. But, I mean, honestly, at this point, probably not doing that much damage anyway. Yeah, Shadow Sneak, I figured. Um, that's okay. Milotic's going to come out with his Muddy Water and hit both of them, hopefully. Well, we still end up going... Uh, we still end up going first. Wow! Holy cow, did not expect to get knocked out there. <laughs> Did not expect that at all. Um, he's probably a little faster than I, than I thought, which doesn't make sense if he has Trick Room, then he wouldn't have any uh, speed invested there, but I guess he is. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and try out our uh, Ho and Off Sagoon right from the get-go. So, here comes Off Sagoon, and then of course here comes Ho. So he already got his uh, weakness policy cracked, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, let's go, let's double up on him, and then let's, uh, yeah, let's go with the flare. I don't believe we get the knockout here, uh, but we do, uh, we do hit them real hard. Could end up going with a steel spike on that dust clops, but I don't think that's going to accomplish a whole lot. Let's just try and go with the flare here. Alright, so he ends up swapping out Dusclops. Um, mm, don't know how I feel about that. Um, it's going to be tough. He did end up getting a defense boost, so I don't think we're going to do a whole lot of damage to him. And if he ends up going for that rock ball, uh, it does end up fainting here. So we actually end up uh, drawing a very tough matchup here from the get go. So we do end up hitting him. Fairly, fairly decently, but yeah, I, I don't foresee us surviving this turn. Not whole, anyway, because that rock falls going to hit just extremely hard. Throw chop coming out, doing some decent damage, uh, but here comes his rock fall, and there goes Ho. Ho is bulky, but it is quadruple weakness to rock, and so that was the end of that. Honestly, uh, we kind of didn't really spend a, cha a chance there. Um, Very tough, tough matchup right from the get-go. And uh, unfortunately, there is that. I had thought about uh, Dynamax and Obstagoon, but uh, didn't end up doing that. Um, unfortunately, so let's go with the uh, Throw Chop again here. Uh, but at this point, it's four against the one. Yeah, we're pretty much done for, and I'm just going to let things just kind of play out. Not a whole lot we can do, honestly, at this point. Um, the match is uh, pretty much over. So he doesn't end up going for the protect. And um, I'm sure uh, Moltres is going to get the knockout here. Or doesn't, but anyway. Honestly, at this point, I'm just going to quit. <laughs> I'm confused now. Jesus. Uh, talk about a butt whooping. And I got it, definitely. 
So we'll be exiting the match here as soon as we can. Oof, man, that was a rough one and tough one. Um, Sogaleo just just took it to us, and we just didn't have it. We didn't stand a chance, honestly. Um, I did not want to go with that Pococo, but honestly, at that point, I had no other choice. Um, I felt like that was the only way to stop Trick Room. And uh, and yeah, I did stop Trick Room, but Sogaleo ended up getting power up, and, and then he just started just knocking us out one by one. And, and he pretty much one-shot everything. I mean, he, he one-shot Malaptic, he one-shot Ho. Um, I mean, Sogaleo's just a beast, and we just had no answers for him. But we do get to uh, live another day, right? So, all right, we got a uh, rain team coming up for what the most part, uh, for what it looks like. Um, let's end up going with the Tornadus and the Zapdos here. <laughs> yeah, I think we should do that. Because he's going to throw out the Regilecki right from the get-go. I already know that. Well, you know what? Let's just go with Obstagoon. Uh, let's go with Ho, and then let's end up going with, um, with the Zapdos here. Very, this team, the only bad thing, well, I say not the only, I'm sure there's a couple bad things with it, um, but one of the main bad things about this team is that it, it is, it has three mons that are weak to thunders, or, or lightning, rather, electric, um, so that is the, the tough part about it, um, but, if you can get past that, this team can, uh, you know, be buffed up and used, uh, differently, so we do have... Uh, Tornadus and Obstagoon here, and I'm um, pretty sure he's going to end up a uh, uh, Tailwind, so we're just going to match him. Um, we could essentially Icy Wind and then um, slow him down, but I kind of feel like he's probably going to go with Tailwind and then he's going to go, you know what, let's do Tailwind and then let's swap out to... Uh, to Ho. Yeah, I think that's the play there. So let's do that. We're going to swap out our Obstagoon right from the get go and then end up going with Ho. I don't think he Dynamax is here. I don't see why he would. And uh, he does end up Dynamaxing. Wow, I'm very surprised about that. I didn't think he would. He might go for a Steel Spike. Um, that's the only thing that I can see. Unless he's gonna go for tornadoes right from the get-go, and so that would not, that would suck because he would knock him out essentially. Uh, if he ends up going with an airstream, I don't think he will. But if he goes for a steel bike, he he will, I believe. So Tailwind does come out, and let's see who he targets with this airstream. And it could be tornadoes, and if he does, I don't think he knocks him out. Ah, very surprised he got him. Okay, so we're starting off uh, uh, on the wrong foot, per se. Uh, not very good at all. So he has a speed boost and he has a attack boost. So we're already in the hole there quite a bit. So that's why a lot of the times what I like to do, I like to just tailwind no matter what. Because there's just a big, huge risk when you get knocked out like that. I mean... You don't get to do anything. I was just trying to be sneaky and go, oh, okay, well, I'm going to go with this or whatever. Uh, unfortunately, that was not the case. So, let's go with uh, a throw chop on him, and then let's go with the sacred fire there. So, he's going to outspeed us regardless of what he does. So, honestly, at this point, it doesn't even matter. Who does he end up going with? That's the question. He ends up going with Kyogre, so we do get a chip on Kyogre. Um, and uh, it will weaken the uh, fire move on um, on the uh, third Dynamax Pokemon, but I still think we get the knockout because it is four times a week, and Ho is just pretty strong. Now, if he goes for a Steel Spike, I don't think we get the knockout, but 
hopefully we do because I did not double up on him. So he does go for the airstream. Power is going to be faster. Woof! Man, that is half of my health. Wow! That hits just extremely hard. That's the bad thing about this guy, man. You let him get set up and, dude, it's just it's just going to be a, a very long day at the office day for you. So, I did, didn't even get the knockout there. Wow! That is... That is nuts, man. That is insane. Okay. Um, yeah, we're we're just in deep trouble here. Um, Kyogre being out. We have no way to protect. Um, this game is probably over, honestly, at this point. Um, I don't see how we can survive this. But nonetheless, we're going to try. So... They're way faster than us, and it was a huge mistake not going for that tow and from Gego. So at the very least, to match speed on it. So Kyro does protect. Um, so maybe Ho survives here. Maybe not. I don't think. Uh, no, Ho does not survive, unfortunately. Uh, so the bad thing about it is that our Dynamax Pokemon is gone, but we should pick up the knockout on theirs here because I did go for the. Now it's still bad because we're still out, you know, we're still out sped because Kyogre is plus two on speed and not to mention the uh, Tailwind that they're uh, buffed up right now. So Brick Break does come out and it should pick up the knockout, and it does. Felt like it barely picked up the knockout there, but man, their Cortana just doing amazing damage and just got set up just right, man. I mean, it was just, just right, and that, that was a big, uh, a big deal. So, yeah, that was, that was just tough. Um... Like I said, I, I personally do not think we can come back from this, uh, but nonetheless, we will definitely try. So Zapdos will be uh, targeted here, and unfortunately, we do not have Protect on him either. So, uh, this is just a very, very tough matchup here for us. So, we'll go to Seed Bomb, and then we can go for the Stomping Tantrum here. I do think we we get knocked out with by that Regilecki, uh, if not by Origin Pulse here. Um hitting both of these guys awful hard uh, but the sun does minimize some of that damage so Volt Switch coming out hitting the Zapdos and does indeed knock him out so uh, doesn't look like he has Incineroar in the back he should have um, what was, uh, this other guy I don't remember his name now <laughs> we'll see him here shortly though um, there it is Tornadus um, yeah this is just going to be tough unless we get the knockout here somehow no, mm -mm, not enough. Okay. Their, their Tailwind does uh, pewter out, but um, uh, Kyogre's still going to be faster. He's still going to hit the uh, with the Origin Pulse. Um, and then just this guy's uh, Obstagoon is just, just not strong enough. So he does end up, I mean, he was going to be faster regardless. I feel like that was just a waste. If I was my opponent, I probably would have just attacked. Um, because he's just going to be faster regardless, no matter what. I mean, there's nothing I can do to be faster anyway. Um, so, yeah, I just feel like that was... I'm not going to say misplay, but if I was my opponent, I wouldn't have done that. Um, so I'm going to go for just another blind Sam. Honestly, at this point, I'm just killing time. Uh, Origin Pulse does miss. And looks like Hurricane does miss as well. So, Body Slam coming out. And it does connect, and it does not get uh, pick up the knockout for us. So that is good. Unfortunately, the sunlight does fade, so uh, Origin Pulse would knock us out. Um, Obstagoon, we're gonna go with the uh, another Body Slam on that Regilecki, and uh, hope for a critical hit. Honestly, at this point. Um, we just need a whole lot of luck, fellas, in this one. Origin Pulse does end up hitting, and it should pick up the knockout here. Yeah, that sun made a whole lot of difference. <laughs> Alright, so, unfortunately, that's two losses. Um, very tough, very tough uh, uh, matchups, very, very tough games. Um, so let's uh, let's just go for the third, third game, and hopefully we can get a win here. Um... I know that it does not appear to be a good team thus far, but like I said yesterday when I tried it, I think I went five and one in the six matches that I that I went. 
And so it is unfortunate to see that that this uh, particular time, we're having a hard time um, even just coming close to, to a win. So hopefully we can pick up a, a win here. And uh, yeah, that's, I mean, we just need one right now, honestly. Trying to get going with this. Um, so Satian. All right, let's see. Um, let's take a look at here. What can we do? Alright, I think we should probably go with Coco here? I'm, I'm kind of between these two. Uh, let's go with Tornadoes and then let's go with uh, Zapdos. And then let's go with Ho, obviously, and then let's go with Coco here. Yeah, I think that's the play. Because if nothing else, like, you know, Tepu Coco is really good to, to help out speed. Uh, that Satian. And then bring his speed down. So I, I, I think that's uh, that's the good combination there to, to do. <laughs> and let's see how this third game goes for us. I mean, it was... Uh, a tough, tough two first matchups, and uh, definitely recognized the mistake on my second one. We were actually in the game <laughs> there at the end, uh, but I do think that it ended up costing us because we did not set the tailwind right from the get-go, and so Tornadoes got knocked out, and then that was just the end of that. At that point, it was just three against one with Partana boosted already, and so that 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 just screwed us all up, man. All right, so in this case, definitely going for the Toll winner from the get-go. Well, I didn't want to do that, but it looks like I have no other choice. So, let's set this Toll and then let's go with the... Uh, we might just go for the Max Quake here on, on, on this guy here and see if we can pick up the Knockout. I wanted to wait to Dynamax, um, Ho, but honestly, in this point, um, with Zacian being just there he could easily protect uh but i do believe that he's probably gonna go for um for behemoth blade just so troubled on what to do here we, we are gonna outspeed we couldn't go for a thunderous kick here as well let's just let's just do that i, I just i feel like dynamaxing right now is just way too soon so he ends up withdrawing station so uh, who does he go to? Lapras. Okay. So I think we made the right move. And he is Dynamax and Regilecki. That is... That is... I did not expect that one. At all. I mean, at all. Um, I guess... I guess he thought the same thing where it's like, Hey, this guy has three electric Pokemon. He does not have a Raichu uh, with Lightning Rod. So, you know, he's just... Yeah. I see. Okay, well, um, we do have Tailwind, and we will pick up a good hit here, minus the defense. So, um, that does end up being good for us. But obviously, Zapdos is gone, <laughs> without a doubt. I mean, he's just gone, gone. Um, but that, that's that's fine, honestly. Um, Zapdos did his, he did his thing. Um, he, he does end up uh, putting in some good work there. Uh, so we will throw out... We're going to be faster than him, so I'm not too worried about that. Like, I don't mind throwing out uh, Ho. So... What I'm worried about is that he protects that Regilecki. Um, but honestly, it's just going to have to just do... Well, Lapras is not going to knock us out, and then at worst, Lapras just... Um, um, activates our weakness policy at worst, I would think. So let's go to Quake on the Regilecki. If he ends up protecting, then so be it. That's fine. Um, we will be faster than him by the looks of it. So I think we'll be okay if we if we get this hit off. Then we'll definitely um, we'll be 
we'll be looking good and strong so let's just check it out and see this max quake obviously will increase our uh, special defense so we will be able to take uh, a hit from Lapras and from Regilecki himself if he were to uh, somehow miraculously survive which obviously he won't um, so we'll see uh, how it goes uh, so air sash coming out just getting some damage on this Lapras and hopefully may potentially pick up the uh, the uh, flinch so he does have a berry um, but we should get the knockout due to bringing down his defense and uh, him not being at full HP so defense rise uh, I'm kind of thinking that maybe um, Tornadus gets targeted here maybe um, honestly I wouldn't have Dynamax Regilecki but you know to each his own obviously uh, so uh, Tornadus should survive this I would think okay never mind oh a critical hit of course <laughs> why not um, so unfortunately um, uh, we don't survive there but Tabu Coco will be coming out and uh, we should be able to outspeed um, anybody that comes out Tailwind is up, Drag Pull is fast, but he's just, he's just going to get rocked now at this point, honestly. Um, I still want to go with probably, a, a, I could go for a Gleam here, in case he's like, uh, well, no, I can go for that, and then we can go for a Steel Spike on Dragapult, because I think that should pick up the Knockout, and we should be faster than him, I mean, we're faster than the Regilecki. So honestly, uh, I think we should be able to to outspeed here. So I think we'll be fine. And of course, we miss on somebody, right? I hope it wasn't. Uh, okay, so we do hit the the dragon pole, and we should pick up the knockout with the steel spike, hopefully. And we do not. Oh lord, I thought we were gonna pick it up. Yep, that's bad. So they do get to get both attacks off. He does go for the Phantom Force. Uh, honestly, I don't mind that at all. Because, uh, uh, yeah, Freeze Dry. Tapu Coco. Okay. So. Oof. Man, that's no good. We only got one turn of Tailwind left, too. This is actually not good at all that this happened. Unfortunately, honestly, we're gonna go with the taunt here, and then we'll just go with the airstream on this Lapras. No, you know what? I don't think. I don't think Electro Web knocks out Lapras here, and uh, yeah, we're just trying to get some speed. So, okay, never mind. <laughs> it's not gonna knock out at all anyway. Uh, but we do pick up some speed. Uh, because Tailwind's about to expire, and so in this case, we just ha we were forced to do this, uh, to be able to outspeed Station and to be able to outspeed that Dragapult. So, uh, it might be looking like it's going to be Ho against the world here in a minute. So Phantom Force does target Ho. Actually hits him a lot harder than I think, than I believed it, it would, honestly. I did not think it would hit that hard. Uh... But, you know, here we are. <laughs> um, okay. So, um, I would think Electrowave picks both knockouts here. And then uh, we can end up going with the uh, Sacred Fire on the Lapras. And that should pick up both knockouts. One of them could protect. Uh, Electrowave does hit both of them. And uh, Dragapult does go down. And then Lapras as well uh, should be going down here next to this Sacred Fire. And uh, Lapras was weakness policy, uh, but again, uh, Sacred Fire should pick up the knockout, so that should not matter. Uh, Sacred Fire does indeed connect, and Lapras does indeed go down. So now it is Sation against um, Ho and Tapu Koko. So I, I like our chances. Uh, we could still easily lose this. I don't believe that we will. Um, 
we are faster than him so we could um, we could go for a Thunderbolt just to just to get uh, you know hit him hard I don't think we should go with an electro web uh, we can do that and then uh, I don't want to go with an earthquake because that would actually kill Tapu Koko if he doesn't get targeted so I have to go with the sacred fire here and just hope 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 that it does indeed hit because if it doesn't we're gonna be in big trouble so Thunderbolt coming out doing some decent damage and Behemoth Blade comes out first. I did not expect that, and that could essentially cost us the game. Uh, it doesn't, but I did not expect for Sation to outspeed us. Sacred Fire would have picked up the knockout, and it does, so. All right, finally picked up our win. Uh, game number three, so uh, this ended up working out well for us, uh, but it did get nervous there at the end. Um, with that station uh, out, uh, actually outspeeding us. I did not expect that to happen. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of times that uh, that, that happens. You know, you, you don't expect uh, things to go your way always. And in that case, it did not. So uh, let's just do one more video. I wasn't happy with this, with, or one more match, rather. I wasn't happy with, that first, with those first two. So let's see if we can uh, uh, make it up with this last one. And uh, hopefully we can. So, let's see who we get matched up with here. Alright. So, looks like it's going to be a Trick Room team by the looks of it. Just by the looks of it. <clears throat> um, I kind of feel like throwing out Tapu Coco. And I want to go with the Zapdos. I feel like that would be best. Uh, let's end up going with the uh, Obstagoon and then let's go with Ho. Like I said, this does feel uh, like a more slower team by the looks of it. So let's just uh, hope that's the case and then uh, we're able to control the speed a little bit more. See, uh, let's see how this fourth match uh, goes. <laughs> Alright. Come on, my guy. Pick up your team. Pick up your team. So my... My... Uh, my thought right now is I'm going to taunt that Porygon because I believe that Porygon would, would be um, setting up your trick room, I would think. <laughs> if not, then of course Tapu Koko can hit Charizard ha really hard if that's what he ends up going with. And we're fixing to find out here shortly. So Grimmsnarl and Porygon, as I figured... Um, now what could suck here is if Grimmsnarl goes for the fake out and Porygon 2 is able to get his um, trick room up, which could obviously be the case. Um, so he ends up tracing Electric Surge, that's funny. Um, yeah, that would suck, but honestly at this point, uh, we can't do anything, we can't fake out Grimmsnarl, it just... It is what it is. Um, so let's just go with a thunderous kick on this Porygon 2. And, you know, if he ends up getting his trick room off, and he does go for the fake out. And he does do Coco Soup. Unfortunately, Porygon 2 will get his damn trick room up, as we figured. Heavy damage on that Porygon 2. But unfortunately, they will have their way and they will they will get trick room up. And so they do have, they do control their speed. I don't have anybody to uh, to stop it. I don't have anybody to reverse it. Just gonna have to somehow stall this out, and it's just there's just not much we can do about it, unfortunately. So let's go for a gleam. Let's go for another thunderous kick here, and let's see if we can get rid of this Porygon too. I figured he was gonna recover, but um, Zapdos should pick up the knockout here just by himself, I would think. Uh, but we'll finish. We're fixing to find out here. Spear break. 
Oh, we barely managed to survive, so that does end up going well for us. Special attack does fall. We, oh yeah, we're definitely picking up the knockout on that uh, Porygon 2. So, I can just tell you right now, without a doubt, that Zapdos is uh, going to be very, very popular to get rid of here shortly. Uh, okay, I totally forgot he had Life Orb, so he got rid of himself. Great. <laughs> so, Dazzling Gleam, Dazzling Gleam does come out, hit the Grim Snarl. Um, we're going to send out our Obstagoon. Um, unfortunately, we do not have Protect on any of these guys, so that does suck. Uh, not much we can do there. Um, so honestly, at this point, what I'm thinking is uh, Excadrill is gonna knock out Coco, and then um, Grim Snarl is gonna Spirit Break on Obstagoon. So I'm thinking about swapping out Coco for Ho, and then I am going to go with a. I couldn't knock out Grim Snarl with a Body Slam here, I believe. So hopefully Excadrill does go for a ground move. Um, oh, Grim Snow does end up getting off that reflect, and that that that's not good. So he will survive this. Oh, uh, never mind. He does not. Um, honestly, I was kind of hoping he would survive, but unfortunately, he he passed away. So. Here comes Giratina. Um, what do we do here? Sacred Fire, Earthquake hits everybody. Definitely not Earthquaking here. Um, I kind of want to switch back to Coco. And then I kind of want to go with a Spirit Break, even though a Throat Chop would be fantastic on that uh, Giratina. I think that's the play, honestly. But the thing is, I want to get rid of that. Uh, yeah, let's swap out to Coco. And then let's uh, Dynamax, Max Darkness on him. And so that'll preserve Ho. And then hopefully Ho will be back. Um, to uh, to finish this game off, and hopefully extra drill went for something like I don't know, rock tune or rock slide or something, and ends up missing, and they just kind of hoping that goes that way. I don't want um, Officer going to get targeted with a fighting move because if he does, that that doesn't bode well for us. Uh, honestly, at this point, I'm assuming that Officer going will not be targeted, and that Hole will. Uh, so I was kind of hoping to use some of that, um, you know, as a distraction with Hull being there. Uh, but we will see. We will see. So, yeah, what a bummer with that Porygon 2 just going off with this trick room, man. That, that sucks, honestly. Um, so Max Wormwind coming out. This actually bodes good for us because this will increase Obstagoon's attack by one because we are uh, defiant so so long as we don't get double targeted i think we'll be okay but if if uh actually we do happen to get this one off that's great so max darkness coming out uh and we'll end up uh hitting decently hard uh not hard enough obviously uh we'll bring that special defense down um, but he does go for the rock slide on uh, Obstagoon. He does survive, so that's always good to see. So, let's see. I think it's two trick rooms. One. Okay, so if we can just survive this, we'll be okay and in good shape. So, let's go with the, a Dazzling Gleam here. And actually, let's go for a... I mean, I could go for another Darkness. Um, but I feel like with uh, uh, Trick Room being over, let's go with a uh, Max Strike on that Excadrill. Hopefully we can get it off. Hopefully we don't get knocked out here. At this point, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, I'm honestly hoping they Max Protect, which probably won't. But that would be best case scenario for us. Max Phantasm. This actually helps out 
uh, again, it helps out our Obstagoon. And so hopefully, Obstagoon survives whatever uh, extra drill throws at him. Hopefully, it's just a rock slide. Um, if it's a fighting move, we're done for. Either way, we do get this max strike off. And wow, we hit extra drill really, really hard. Did not expect them to, uh, uh, Obstagoon to hit that hard. So hopefully, if we survive, we, we're, we're in it. So Iron Head does come out, and uh, we do survive. So dimensions are back to normal. They're slower than us. So we got our hoe. I think we're in good shape, guys. I really do. I think we will uh, actually win this one, at least by the looks of it. So let's go with a Sacred Fire on Excadrill. Get rid of him. And then let's go with a Max Darkness on this Giratina. And that should win the game, I would think. Um, we, I think that Max Strike did lower the speed enough. Okay, Excadrill does end up protecting. But so long as we get this knock knockout with uh, Obstagoon, I think we're in good shape. So. Obstagoon coming out of this Mac Darkness. Do we pick up the knockout? And we do! Fantastic! Woo! This Obstagoon is putting in some work. We do pick up the critical hit. I do believe we would still uh, win this game, even if. Um, I mean, not win this game. I still think we would have knocked out that Giratina. Um, regardless. Um, but. Obstagoon getting a critical hit and potentially winning this game for us. So we'll go with the Sacred Fire here and let's go with the Brick Break and uh, get rid of that screen. And so honestly, he canceled the battle. So we won. Awesome. This is great. Uh, honestly, I had forgotten that Reflect was up. So we were doing all of that damage um, with Reflect being up. So. That that is, but that just goes well greatly for us. So extra drill had the focus sash, and he had the speed with the sand rush. I guess it was like a flexible thing, um, because he did have the tyranitar. He hey tyranitar was scarf too. Uh, very surprised about that. Um, and then of course Porygon too. Uh, right, that's your typical recover try attack ice beam trick room. Yep, that's about right. Uh, Charizard with the speed. That's a good one. I like I like carrying that. Actually, I would carry a. Um, I'm very surprised I don't see a flying move here. Um, I would actually probably get rid of Solar Beam for the uh, flying attack. It doesn't matter. He didn't even bring him. Uh, Draco Meteor, Dark Pole Shadow Ball. Okay, that's not bad. Um, yeah. So Grim Snarl with the Light Clay, of course. Uh, reflect Light Stream, Spray Break Fake Out. Yep, that's about right. Iron Head. Okay, so we got lucky that Extra didn't have a fighting move because if so, we would have been. This would have been a definitely a complete different game for us. None of the less. Um, let's take a look at this uh, rental uh, team code. So hey, look, we lost the first two matches. They were tough losses. We could have won one of them if uh, we, you know it would have been a different outcome, I believe. And so. Um, we do end up making it out and winning the last two matches. And so here's here's the team again. Again, this is just my version of the hoe. Um, I do have an ability patch to turn hoe's uh, ability from pressure to uh, regenerator, which I would love to do, but I only have one ability patch, and I don't want to grind for another one, honestly. So, yeah, I did not switch his nat or his ability to <laughs> Regenerator. I'm just saving it for somebody else. Um, we do have a uh, Series 9 rules that are coming in May 1st. So that means that all Legendaries will be banned again. And so, yeah, I wanted to save that ability patch just for then because, you know, who knows what will happen after that. May It could be May and June, Series 9, and then Series 10 would probably be the last rest of the month or the rest of the time until uh, whatever they decide to do with the competitive scene but you know uh, here is the team uh, I believe Obstagoon kind of shined there at the end uh, definitely with his defiant ability uh, ended up coming in really clutch for us obviously if it wasn't for defiant I don't think we would have won the game um, because he just he wasn't hard enough 
and uh, he is kind of bulky. So uh, what he was with that assault vest. So Giratina was hitting him, and he was just uh, he was able to uh, tank some of those hits. Uh, so it ended up working out real well. So, anyways, guys, this is the this is my version of the team. If you liked it, uh, do let me know in the comments, or just uh, you know, as always, message me directly. Uh, like the video, subscribe as always. I am very glad to bring you this type of content, uh, especially this week as I'm able to upload uh, quite often, actually more often than uh, than I actually thought I would. Uh, but hey, that's what happens when you have some time off, right? I finally got some time off uh, from work, even though fixing to uh, get back to it, but that's okay. We expect that. But uh, anyway, um, it was great. Um, it was great recording and, and and doing all this. So, guys, I appreciate if you stuck around this long. If you uh, support me in any kind of way, remember to follow me on social media pages. I don't spam everywhere, you know, all these uh, uh, random posts or whatever. So it's not like I'm going to uh, just fill your feed with this Pokemon stuff. But do remember, if you do follow me, uh, I am at uh, Houston Falcon. And... Uh, yeah, so that'll be it for today, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed everything. And uh, y'all, you guys have a great day. Houston Falcon out. See y'all.